Hi, welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, The Silver Fox. Labour haven't yet become the government of the United Kingdom, but already the civil war has begun, and not the one you're thinking. Everyone seems to think that Angela Ranger will be in the middle of this next civil war within Labour, but that's not the case this time. This one is far more fundamental. It is actually about how the Labour Party functions. Anasawa, for it is he, has stood up today and disagreed with the UK Labour Party. He has said no. This is over the levelling up money. Currently, the Tory party, when they give levelling up money, they give it directly to the councils that are concerned. So that the money goes directly into the hands on the ground of those who need it, who can then spend it on local issues. The SNP hate this. They like to get their hands on that. They can get their little cut off the top and then decide where the money should be spent when, you know, at a national level, not whether local councils get it because heaven forbid the local council spends it on something useful or wanted or does something good for the people. And the Labour Party have come out and Keir Starmer said, don't worry, SNP, we're going to bow to your demands. And when we give you the 150, which is less than 173 that the Tory are giving you, but when we give you the 150 million, we're going to give it to you in central government. We're not going to hand it out to the councils who need it. No siree, Bob. Well, Anasawa has today been walking that back. He's reverse ferreting it. He's saying, no, 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 this can't be right. We must continue, as the Tories did, to direct the money to the point at which it's needed. You know, rub the ointment on the injury. Don't give it an aspirin and say, call me in the morning. This is the difference. And so this has caused, shall we say, uh, a bit of consternation within the Labour Party. Who's in charge? Because, of course, the Labour Party, that is the UK Labour Party, is not the Scottish Labour Party. They are separate entities. One cannot, you know, tell the other what to do. But when you get a fundamental division in policy like this, well, it's a rock and a hard place, isn't it? It's the unmovable force meeting the impenetrable energy. No, the other way around, isn't it? The unstoppable force and the unmovable object. Come on, brain. It's getting late in the day and I'm still recovering and I'm a bit tired. 100%? Not quite. Anyway... That's what's happening. You're hitting that, that collision of these two power bases. Who will win? Starmer or Anasawa? I have a feeling this is one where Anasawa may well win, simply because he is on the ground, as it were, in Scotland, and they don't want to risk splitting the party. I think giving it for Labour is such a minor matter they may reverse it and say, well, we thought this would be the best thing. But having listened to the experts within our own ranks, which they can say, we've decided to go in this particular way and hand it out directly. It seems the logical, easiest way out of it. But will Starmer do it? Or will he take this attack by Anasawa as a personal slap in the face? Who knows? But it's, a, it's bound to be a story that runs and runs. So we will keep an eye on it. So thanks for watching. Uh, let me know what you think and I will speak to you later. Bye.